Hello everybody, thank you so much for pressing play on my video today. My name is Charlene from stampwithshaw.com and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in the US. It's Monday, which means it's Casing the Catalog Monday. And today I wanted to show you, I can actually only show you the front cover of this. So for today's project, I'm going to share with you how to create these different types of envelopes. And they are called coin envelopes and you can make them in different sizes this one here is created with a six by six piece of designer series paper today's version is going to be a little bit different now if any of you have not placed an order through me but would like a catalog sent to you send me an email with your name and your mailing address and i'd love to send you one of these there's so many amazing things in here, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, but for those of you that have ordered through me, your catalogs are already in the mail. So, our designer series paper we're using today, this is the Magnolia Lane designer series paper. And this piece is cut at eight inches by eight and a half. And we're gonna do some scoring to this. Now, the project we're cre creating today is going to be used on a project we're going to create on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. I have a piece of mossy meadow, and this is to cut the three and a quarter inch circles. So we're going to get our stamp and trimmer. Now, if you miss any of these measurements, don't stress. I will have a written detailed description over on my website at www.stampwithshard.com. So uh, we are using our stamp and trimmer. You want to make sure you're using the light blade. This is our scoring blade. The darker blade is our cutting blade. We want to move that away because we don't want to cut. With the eight and a half inches along the top, we are going to score this. At a half an inch and we're going to score this at four and a half inches we are then going to rotate it and with the eight inch along the top we are going to score this at three quarters of an inch And we are going to score this at six and a half. Okay. We can now put our trimmer away. So what I'm going to do now, we have the half inch along here and we have the three quarters inch along the bottom. We are going to take our paper snips and we are going to cut this little rectangle piece away. We are now going to cut away this top rectangle piece. This little half inch strip here, I'm just going to miter these two little tabs. Just like so. I am going to come back with my trimmer and I'm going to line this up at that quarter inch mark. And I'm just going to make a little pencil mark right at the top. What I'm going to do now is right where that pencil mark is, I'm going to cut down to that horizontal score mark. I'm going to take this piece and flip it over so I can use that as a template to cut the other side and that will ensure me that they are exactly the same. Once I have my little template cut I can now go and again I'm just going to stop at that horizontal score mark. We can now fold and burnish all our score lines. What you're going to do now is you're going to add some tear and tape along this half inch strip. You can use tear and tape or multi-purpose liquid glue. I have
have my take your pick tool and I'm just going to use that to remove this backing. It's just going to help me pick up the backing. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over and then I'm going to add some tear and tape along this strip. You're going to now remove the backing. I have that mossy meadow with my three quarter inch circle and I am just going to punch two of those circles out. Now, I probably could have done this before sticking this together, but it's not a big deal. I did this the last time and it worked okay. It worked perfectly. I didn't have an issue. So you are going to see where you want to place that and you are just going to take your pokey tool. You want to be very careful so you don't poke your fingers. Been there, done that, got the shirt, it's awful. I just have a brad that I'm now going to poke through and I can now close my brad just like so. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this next piece, figure out where I want it, where I need it set, and I'm just going to come in, putting my fingers in there, being very careful not to poke myself, because again, I've been there, I've done that, and it's not fun. Now I can come in with my brad, And there you have your adorable little envelope and you can now come in with some Whisper White Baker's Twine and all you're going to do is you're going to wrap some Baker's Twine and then you're going to wrap Baker's Twine down on the bottom. Super cool you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you don't miss my next video. And don't forget, we're going to use this envelope for Wednesday's project. So stick around, hit that notification bell, and that's going to notify you on Wednesday when I upload a video. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. We'll see you Wednesday. Take care. Thank you.